Hey, this is Derek, and today we're going to do a quick video on creating a fan page. Now, there's a few things I want to tell you about a fan page first. The first thing you need to know is that if you are marketing at all on Facebook, you need a fan page for a few different reasons, and one of them, and probably the most important reason why, is because, well, um, if you are sharing your business information on your actual fan page, your personal fan page, the one that you can only have a limit of 5,000 friends on, um, if Facebook were to catch you doing that, you could actually lose your entire account. So it's important to understand that the reason why you need a fan page is because you can market stuff on your fan page and then share it later on your personal page should you choose to do so. So your fan page is more of a promotional kind of a thing anyway. So really quick, I wanted to go down the benefits of a fan page with you as we look to wrap this thing up here. And the first thing is, is it gives you exposure to all of your fans. So when you actually establish a fan, as long as they still remain a fan, they will see your information. In other words, if you make your way to your, um, to your Facebook page, okay, you'll get actually a list of people who you frequent with the most, not all of your fans so if, or friends. So if you have 5,000 friends, Obviously, Facebook's not not going to give you a, a constant feed of your 5,000 friends and all their thoughts and processes and shares and likes and all that kind of stuff. But with your fans, you actually can. So that's a huge benefit. The second thing is now you can make offers. So you can go to your your fan page, and this is mine. You go to your fan page, and you can make offers um, here kind of like this one here. And this, this is one that I'm going to show you a little later on is how to create a uh, – how to create a reveal tab. Um, and you can create offers here or you can um, get great information on, uh, on on yourself and post your videos and whatnot. Uh, and the last benefit to having a fan page is you can make use of Facebook pay, uh, pay per click. So if you look over here, you can see that based upon your interest, your personal uh, fan or your personal Facebook page and your personal interests and everything that you've put on there, you get now categorized for um, for advertisements. See, as you can see, it says create an ad, and these are all ads here. You can see on the right hand side. Well, you can do that as well for your opportunities or whatever you're looking to market here on Facebook. So this is the major reason why you want a fan page. I'm going to show you how to do that. All you simply do is if you're actually inside of your own uh, Facebook page, if you have a personal page, and this still works the same if you want to create a new page as well as you go up to account. And then you go to uh, manage pages. Now, since I already have an actual page, um, I can go to a page. But for you, if you haven't created a page yet, it'll say create a page. If you have already created a page, then it's more than likely that you know what to do. Um, if you want to create a new page, you simply go down to um, edit page. And in here, this is kind of like a back office for all of your stuff. So when you're in here, you can come in and um, you can create a whole new new page if you wish inside of this whole this whole deal here but nevertheless if you haven't done it yet just make sure you go to your actual page you go to account um, then go to uh, manage pages and create a new page and that's how you get started on your Facebook page now really quick let's go ahead and explore what it's like to create a vanity name a vanity name will actually shrink everything up so for instance you can see this long URL right here where it's facebook.com slash pages my first and last name, and then all these weird numbers and blah, 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 right? Well, what we want to do is create a vanity name so people don't actually have to type all that in. If they just want to come to, let's say, facebook.com slash um, Derek Erigwin, it'll be redirected. And to be able to do that, you go to facebook.com slash username, and here you can actually find your page that you want specifically to uh, for it to identify. You simply click on it, and then you type in your desired vanity name. Now, really quick, a warning. Um, once you set your vanity name, it's set in stone. So make sure you know exactly what it is you're doing. But after that, you're all good to go. Just hit check availability after that and hit save. Okay. So that's basically it. Set up a fan page. It's really easy to do so. And it's important if you're going to start marketing online. This is Derek Erigwin signing off. I'll see you later.